MPs have welcomed the series of measures announced in this year's budget, including the $3 billion enhancement to the assurance package. It aims to help Singaporeans cope with the GST increase, rising inflation and the cost of living. Adult Singaporeans will get cash payouts of between $700 and $2,250 over five years. But some MPs cautioned that such levels of financial support may not be sustainable in the long run. The enhancements to the assurance package, both the one-off and the earlier versions, will cost $3 billion and hence increases the total amount of the package from $6.6 billion to $9.6 billion, which is more than the budget for MND or MSF and MSE or MSE, MCCY, MOM and MCI combined. Hence, I believe that while this is necessary in the current environment, this is something we must closely monitor in future budgets and carefully calibrate the amount and qualifying conditions when the situation changes so as to avoid entrenching the sense of reliance on government support as it is not fiscally sustainable in the long term. Well, MPs also called for a review of the criteria used to assess the level of support households get. And that's because some households might not be eligible for certain schemes based on where they live even if they do need help. For those who sell their homes and their parents' homes to consolidate into a multi-gen flat, I hope that we can relook the criteria of certain support schemes and caregiving subsidies dependent on flat type to allow for elderly and their adult children to, consider, to continue receiving help. 